welcome back to Panzercore 2, folks. In the last one, we completed the Paris <clears throat> campaign, or Paris scenario, and we are going to continue on. And... Hmm. With nearly all of Western Europe defeated, the Axis powers turned their gaze east and prepared to face the massive behemoth that is the Soviet Union. Meanwhile, the Africa Corps continues the battles against British against the British on a new continent. So do we want to do Africa Corps or Russia? Hmm. I really want to do both. I think we're going to go to Russia because I think in order to get to invade Britain and the US and stuff like that, I think we're going to have to defeat the Russians and I don't think we'll do that if we don't do Barbarossa. So I think we'll do Barbarossa. Yeah. Now, the monumental struggle for the Ost Front is about to begin. With Axis powers bordering the Soviet Union across a nearly 3,000 kilometer front, you must decide where to deploy your forces for this massive invasion. All paths eventually lead to Moscow, but each set of battles presents unique challenges and rewards. So we can do north, which is up in the Baltics. We can do center through the Ukraine. Or we can do south through Romania and also through the Ukraine. Ukraine. I think we'll do south. Let's do south. Maybe we'll get to go down and take Sevastopol and uh, Odessa and Baku. That would be nice. Well, let's do that. And I don't think we're that well off on um, on prestige. I think we're going to be in a bit of trouble. It's good to see you returning to active service. I trust you've been keeping your skills sharp in the years since our campaign in France, yeah? You're going to need them. Because tomorrow we will be joining in Operation Barbarossa, the largest invasion the world has ever seen. Your unit's transfer to Lublin is complete, and you are now formally operating under Army Group South Command. Field Marshal von Brunstedt believes that your advance through the Ukrainian SSR will keep enough pressure on the Red Army for Army Groups North and Center to complete their objectives at Leningrad and Moscow. Destroying the Red Air Force early should be a top priority. Focus on these air bases here, here, and here. Drive a path deep into the Soviet Union, but make certain you have enough firepower to deal with large concentrations of Soviet armor you will inevitably encounter. Also, our Romanian allies are ready to advance along the length of the Prut River. See if you can make good use of them to strike vulnerable Soviet flanks. As a final reminder, because it has been over a year since your last operation, be sure to check the equipment stocks of your troops. You wouldn't want to send them into Russia with obsolete weapons. No, I surely wouldn't. Let's end the briefing. So, ooh, double attack. Unit gets two attacks actions per turn. That is very nice. That's either going on a fighter or a artillery, I think. Now, what did he say the name of this river down was here was Put River? Yeah, Put River. So put in Danish means fart. So this is the fart river. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We have 2,902 prestige. Let's, and we have 12 slots. So let's elite replace where we need to replace. At least that shouldn't be too bad, I think. We're down to 2,000, so I wasn't right on the money about that. And we lost a damned artillery last time, which sucks. So we're down to 1869. 
with everything uh, replaced to max. Okay. Now, he said a lot of tanks. So, I mean, we won't... I think I'm gonna... First, let's look at upgrading because he said that we have a lot of new stuff, which we do. So this is a Panzer 3F. We can get that up to a Panzer 3H, which is, it only costs 30, 33 prestige. It's quite a bit better on tanks or hard attack. It's a bit better on ground defense and air defense. So we're going to upgrade our three Fs to three H. So that's three Panzer three Hs. Our four Ds we can upgrade to four Fs, which makes them more powerful against in hard attack. Soft attack is the same. But ground defense gets quite a bit better, and air defense get a bit, gets a bit better. And that only, only costs 44. So let's do that. Oh, can we overstrength them without it costing anything? No. All right. So those are upgraded. What about a recon? We can upgrade to a Panzer 2F. Which makes uh, gives it a little bit better air defense. It moves slower though. It has less gas, so we're not going to do that. Those are not getting upgraded. Uh, our fighters can go up to 109 Fs, which gives them one more air attack, some more initiative, and some more air defense. And it only costs 24. So we'll do that. Uh, 110D. I kind of like having that, so we're not going to upgrade that. But the JU-87B, we can upgrade to an R. It gives it a bit better air attack, naval attack, and it can move a bit further. And it only costs 30, so let's upgrade that. And what about you? The Dornier 217E we can upgrade to. It only costs 33. It's a little bit worse against ships, but that doesn't really matter. It's much better in soft attack and a bit better in hard attack. I don't know why it would need ground defense, but <laughs> okay. So we'll upgrade that, I think, to the Dornier. Uh, what about this one? That's way worse. Let's upgrade that to, to the Dornier. Okay, so we've upgraded everything. We still have 12 slots available. We have 1571 prestige. So we want to buy some units and I want some anti-tank, I think. Stura Emilie. Wow. 28 heart attack it's also quite expensive both on uh, slots and prestige five centimeter pack has 20 heart attack cost two but we would need a at least an opal and i think i'd actually give it a Half track. So that's 300. This one only costs 170. It's a little, it's not as good on the heart attack. But I think I'd rather have the Panzerjäger. It's cheaper. And we can overstrength it to 11. And I think we'll get two of those. Got two of those, so we have some anti-tank. We need some more artillery. 
17 centimeter. Now this does counter battery fire, anti-tank support, suppressing fire, and entrenchment killer. But it doesn't support for for infantry. And if we get that, we are up to nine. I think I'll stick with the fifteen centimeter. With a half track, it costs 360 and four slots. So that leaves us four slots to play with. Let's buy that. It gives us three artillery again. Now, I think I am going to move those to the reserve. And I'm up going to upgrade one of these Grenadiers. Uh, why do you have heroes? You ignore entrenchment and ferocious defense. That's fine, you'll stay a Grenadier. Which means that you will be upgraded to a Grenadier. Or to a pioneer, sorry. I wouldn't mind having half tracks, but we'll stick with the trucks because of the limitations on our core slots. So that lives, gives us three pioneers. I think this grenadier will move to the reserves. So we have seven slots. That gives us the possibility to get another fighter. That leaves us, leaves us with three slots. Anti-air. Five hundred and twenty. That leaves us with 140 and no slots. I'm thinking an anti-air would be nice. Another tack bomber was would be nice too. Or another fighter. Could just go with another BF-109 so we have four fighters. But we can't overstrength it then. Um, I'm actually thinking that this grenadier can go to the reserves as well, or we'll disband it. We'll see. Because I want another tank. And I want another 3H. Or do I want another 4F, maybe? Hmm. Because we got the two anti-tank. So... But they did see, say, a lot of armor. I think I'll go with the 4F, gives us six tanks, two anti-tank, two of those. We have four slots left and 340. Now, the anti-air cost 520. Grand Deers cost 170 plus 105. That's 
enough that we could get the anti-tank. So what we'll do is we'll take you, this grenadier, and we'll disband you. It gives us 615. And we can overstrength you to 12. Ah, oh, then we can't afford it. Dang it. Can afford it at 11, but not 12. Dang it. Okay, you know what? We are not going to overstrength you. We'll purchase you like that. And then instead. We have 95 left. So we can go up to... No, we can't, because it costs two. Hmm. Okay. So, overstrength the Stuka. All right, this is what we're going with. So let's start deploying some units. We, where can we deploy? Deploy a bit down here and a lot up here. Nothing down this way. Okay. So we need to take Koval, Wall, Shiromir, Vinitsa, Balta, Tegina. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. That was six. Okay. So I think we'll do. A recon car up here. What do you have? 105 millimeter model. Some kind of tank that's probably sucks. And some tack bombers that probably suck. So a five meter millimeter model. Uh, hmm. Okay. All right. We'll put this here. And we'll put one of the grenadiers here. Well, the the grenadier. Oh, we need to. Hmm. You get experience very fast, right? Oops, that's what we're going to do. A fast learner. Do we want to assign the double attack to a fighter, or do we want to assign it to a artillery? I think we want to assign it to an artillery. We'll do that. And that means you need some camouflage. Give you that camouflage, I think. Well, that camouflage easier to see. This guy needs some camouflage as well. Mm. I think we'll take this. Okay. Now, this pioneer comes down here. Do they have any, what's this, mounted infantry? Or mountain infantry, this is cavalry. Mountain infantry, just infantry. 
I'm thinking it might be good to push a little bit down here as well. So I think we'll put a Pioneer and Panzer 3-8 down here, or 3-H. And an Artillery. And one of our fighters as well. To back up that uh, attack air. Uh, then we'll put a fighter and actually no, let's not do that. We'll put this up here. This pioneer will help out here together with a, a recon who we'll have Artillery, anti-tank, or Panzer 3H, or Panzer 3H will go here with a anti-tank behind it. Panzer 4F, Panzer 4F, and a Panzer 4F down here as well. Our anti-air will come in here. And then we have our fighters and our bombers. There we go. That's everything deployed. Actually, you know what? Because they said to focus on those three airfields. So I think I will deploy all our fighters up here to take, up, take out this bit as fast as possible. Let's end the deployment. Okay. So we have a fighter there. Sir so 4. What can you do to it? Sir so 1. That's not great. But it's enough that with a fighter in assistance it will take it out. Can fire twice. One seven. But if we get a Stuka or something in there, we can maybe reduce that to zero, which I wouldn't mind doing. Okay. We'll take our fighters down here to take this guy out. Alright, we went down in one go. I love it. One, seven, two, four. One nine. So four. I'll take that. I think you'll move in here. This artillery will. Let's see, can we get? Get this tank down here. Well, that's not what I wanted to move. I wanted to move the artillery. E3 I don't like. Come down here and have this as backup if a tank comes in. Okay. Well, that's one airfield down. 
They have a fighter over here, zero 05. I'll take that. Very nice. Plus one to air attack. Very nice indeed. And this means our... Attack bomber can come in there. Two, five. One five. Zero five. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case and they backed off. All right, overrun. We're not going to move in there because there's an anti tank in there. We'll head down and see what's down here. One six, we'll take that. Zero four. Zero one. I don't want you to do that. Uh, let's move down here and see if we can see more. We can't really. We'll take that and then we'll pull back. That's two of those airfields gone. These are really expensive to replace, so I think we'll send you down here. Okay, that's that part up there done. Then we need this part. Zero two, that's fine. Zero one. One, two, three, two, three, three. You can't do anything. Our artillery can't reach. One, four. Let's move over here to this bridge and see. Yeah, there are troops guarding that as well. well I don't really care that much about the Romanians three five three five one six that's pretty good. I think that's everything I want to move right now. Yep. In the turn. The Russians came in from the side there. Didn't go too well for for them though. For those either. pretty good but it's even better if we can get this off we'll come in here and finish that off lost one though oh there come the tanks let's pull back Set these guys up here. Hopefully the tanks will come forward and get ambushed, at least one of them. Okay. One, two, one, three. Zero four, zero six. 
But if we send a Stuka down, and we send the 110 down, that should help us quite a bit. You can attack again. You will attack there. Zero three. We'll do zero five, which should give us an overrun. Yes. Steamroller. Any kill triggers an overrun. Overrun. Very nice indeed. Definitely making progress. It doesn't look like they have any anti air here, so that's nice. Uh, zero 04, zero 05. Let's try zero 05 here. Oh, ambush, damn it. Doesn't matter though. You can zero 05 him. And then you can serve for him. Yeah, so four, unfortunately. And then you can start working on the wall here. Now, it will send you up this way. You can't move anymore. You can come in here, you can come down here, and you come up here. That's pretty good. Okay, down here. Two, three, I'll have to take that. One six, I'll take that. One two. Okay. Then we have this down here. We have our tech bomber. Zero three, I'll take that. I would take one four, but I don't think I need to. One one zero two. Zero, one. Three two, three two, three three. I was four two. That's my pioneers, they're not going up there. Zero four. That's better. Okay. Progress. Don't really want the pioneers in the front line, to be perfectly honest. So I think we'll just do this. Uh, you're not going anywhere, and you're the last one, so let's end the turn. Ouch, five. Okay, one, two, I can live with that. I think that tank is going to get annihilated. Not quite. I 
And another attack bomber. They won't have that for long, though. There we go. Stuka, you can come down here. And you can come down here. Alrighty, now, we move in here, very nice, this is a 4F, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 4, One, two. Let's take you. Okay, overrun. Overrun. Very nice. Move up this way, and you come in here to cover. And next time, hopefully, we'll take the vault. Uh, up here, we'll leap replace you. And you you come down here you come down here dang it you come down there then uh, our Bonier. And come down here and bomb a bit on those guys just for fun. We'll come in here. Now we're not doing two five. We're not doing two six either. I think I think we'll wait until next turn. Uh, this is the three H. Should overrun these guys. Yes. This means we can overrun these guys. Move. We can actually do that. Come in here. Sure, three, I'll take it. And we're cross. Not bad. Not bad. And there's these guys. I think they need to fall back. This tank is dead. It died on Fart River. Or it will die on Fart River. 
Uh, okay, you are not attacking, you are not attacking, you are not attacking, you are stuck. You come in here for the cover, and then we're back. So, turn. I think we'll do one more turn in this episode, and then we will continue on in the next one. To one health, pull back, and it's gone. I had no doubt that that was going to happen. Five. Those guys are going to lose as well. Two, four. One, five. Took a few casualties, but it dished out a lot more casualties than it took. That's for sure. BT7A, BT7, T26s. One, two, I'll take that, I guess. It was only a suppression. So two, that seems pretty good to me. That pushed him back. Our 3H can then come forward and overrun you. And then do some damage to you. One, two, zero, three. Let's do that. Unfortunately, it wasn't zero three, but so be it. What can you do? One four, you're four F. One three, you're three H. Zero five. I like it. I like it a lot. Alrighty, we can do zero two to you. can come up here All right so we do have our uh, planes here I want the stuka where's the stuka the stuka is there And then I think we'll rebase everything down here. One five, one five, one six. Suppose we'll take it. And take the town. We'll overrun here. Very nice. Whoa! There were some tanks there. Those will do one three. It will elite replace you. Now these guys can actually reach. And if we rebase down there, then one of these tanks is probably gonna go and take it. Because they can. Send you down and defend. Okay. You can come up here. 
here we've already done everything yeah we're just staying there down here we have not done everything bit of scouting I think we're going to go for Chikina Chikina here try and take that maybe I should send this cavalry unit up this way that let's just replace you not with anything fancy like elite replacements just replacements you can move I don't want to you can move but you don't want to we can replace you just with standard guys I don't want you guys to move I don't want you to move move up here I guess don't want you to move, don't want you to move, don't want you to move, and we're back. Alright, so that is the first part of Barbarossa's South done. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. We have, we're have we pushing on Tikina down here, the one that was essentially the furthest away from our main assault. And we've taken the two first towns up here. We've taken out a lot of tanks up here, and we'll take out a lot more, and then we'll push on uh, Shitomir and uh, Vinitsa. Uh, we need to go deal with these guys down here though, because they are tearing the Romanians a new one, so the Romanians need a bit of support. But other than that, I think we're doing pretty dang good. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.